Hey everyone, it's Orange. I finally have a rush hour video for you guys. I'm satisfied with the progress I've made, so this is uh, the first one in a while. I managed to finish G3, or not, what the hell, G3, damn, I'm so out of it right now. That would have been nice. C3, last night, I did three refills. I got hit nine times during the 45 minutes that I rushed, or whatever it was, something like 43 minutes. Out of those nine hits that I took, I had two successfuls. Like I said, I did three refills, so maybe something like 30 wings. I don't really know, probably more than that. Uh, I didn't count, I don't remember. And I finished rank three, two, one. Lovely, I know. I hope I didn't put anyone in a hypnotic state with uh, counting backwards, but yeah, I missed, uh, I missed Guardian by one win. I think someone hit me at the very end, and that's what caused me to get bumped down, and I didn't finish my last match fast enough. I had a couple losses in here, I'm gonna have to take a look at those. I think three losses out of 30, I, I hope that's right, but I feel like I didn't lose at all. So, um, of course it would have been nice to get the Guardian just to have that, you know, checked off my list or whatever, or just whatever, because I would have been in the same situation, in the same place, having the same knowledge. I'd be just as smart as I was if I got Guardian than if I got Conqueror 3, which is how I finished. But whatever, I know it's going to happen eventually, um, and it will happen plenty of times. I will have my fill of Guardian 1 eventually. Um, this last night may have been an easy rush hour. Like I said, I only got hit nine times. I had two successfuls. Uh, I don't know. It was the Hall of Heroes weekend. I don't know why people would farm that though and neglect doing rush hour. I don't know if there's any other events going on, but it felt really dead. I have no idea how to judge that though. One of my guild members was saying it's probably more of like a normal week <clears throat> because last week's reward was, um, the Dark Joker, whatever his name is, he's pretty damn good. And then this week it was the Light Barbaric King. So I don't know how it went, you know, whatever. I don't really care. The thing that I do care about is that with this finish though, with the three refills, with the um, nine hits or whatever, I think I am seeing progress. I got some time a little bit higher up than I usually am. Like you can see I'm getting some time in... Uh, like high C3 or whatever, um, and things went really well actually. I think my Lucians are a bit behind where they need to be to be Guardian 1 Lucians. First of all, let me, um, I kind of glanced over this uh, part, but I'm just going to be generally describing the things that I've done to s start seeing improvement in my Lucians, and if I run out of things to talk about, I'll talk about the individual matches. Um, so, I'm pretty much just going to be talking over all of this. Uh, uh, I lost this one. This is, like, really painful. But uh, I think, yeah, I just fucked up. Okay, so let's get back to what I was just talking about. I forgot where I was, but um, I think I was talking about seeing progression in them. So, uh, it's been a while, though. I, I think the, the um, improvement has started to show, though. And it was good, I was talking about how I got experience up in high C3, uh, whatever. So, um, let's talk about what I did to my Lucians. I've had them for a while, I don't know when, maybe like two months or something, I, I don't know. But free rune removal was last weekend, wait, was it last weekend? Mm, something like that. Seven, eight, nine. It was nine days ago. I gave my best runes to my Lucians. They are my current focus. I think it's my best priority to work on them. I think I'm going to get the most out of it, crystal-wise, for Arena if I work on them. So, I... When I first got my Lucians, my thought process was this. It was double Lucian anything without a speed leader. That was it. That was my thought process. A really bad thought process, and I knew that it was me that was kind of messing up, and over the past couple weeks, I've learned more about them, 
and there's still a lot to learn. I'm not going to really talk about what there is left to learn because I don't really know what there is left to learn. Well, I sort of do, but um, I'll just talk about, you know, like what actually happened, what I actually did, and the things like that. Reality, I guess. So on free run removal, I had to figure out which what speed I wanted them and what damage I wanted them. I was really confused about how speed worked. I was confused about nemesis monsters because previously, before this free run removal, like I said, I've had them for a couple weeks, maybe like two months or something, three months, I don't know, I lose track of time. Um, over that time period, I was first, like first I was kind of getting mad that I was losing because I was like, how? I have devolution, this should just be a win, right? I mean, I was sort of like that. I'm a pretty rational person, so I don't really think like that. And then I think I just fought this dude again because I was like, yeah, I just fucked up. All right, so, um... So, wait, yeah, so that was my original thought process with the double Lucians, and then I started thinking about what I was actually losing to. I kind of came up with a list in my head. I was losing to people outspeeding me, which I think is quite rare. My Bernard's pretty fast. There are some faster ones around my ranking, but if you look at all these matches, I'm pretty much facing a lot of monsters with the same speed as me, like Chloe's and whatnot, and I'm outspeeding all of them. Um, so, so that was on my list, but I don't think that's really a reason to fret or anything like that. I think my Bernard is perfectly fine with the speed that he has. Of course, I, of course I do want to grind it and whatnot, um, but he's gonna have to pretty much stay where he is because I, it's hard to find rune upgrades for him to make him faster because they're quite rare to get. So that was one thing. The two biggest things that I was losing to were Nemesis monsters interrupting my Lucians and moving in between, like Veramoses, Prahas, Aerials. I don't really know what else um, could possibly be on Nemesis. Uh, there's one more that I kind of know about, the Dark Mermaid, but I don't remember... Oh yeah, I think this rush hour I actually got interrupted by a Nemesis Orion. That was really weird. Maybe it wasn't during this rush hour, but it was sometime around here. It did happen last night. Okay, so Nemesis monsters interrupting my Lucians. That was one huge cause for a lot of losses. In my previous C3 rush hour video, I had I only had an 80% win rate with my Lucians. I think I lost a lot to double, or not double, just single or double Nemesis monsters. So, um... That was one cause, and then the second cause was my Lucians just not doing enough damage either to a bunch of tanky monsters, like them <clears throat> them not getting crits, or <clears throat> them together like not doing enough damage. <clears throat> Sorry, my damn throat. So monsters like with uh, teams like with HP leaders and Riteshes, fire monsters especially. Fire monsters I kind of learned to stay away from, but Tons of people out there use Devolution, so I was looking around at pretty much everyone, and I've heard a lot of people say that they're not really afraid of fire monsters, So, but I was having bad experiences with them, so I kind of kept that in mind. I was like, okay, some people aren't too afraid of them, and with my own experimentation, some monsters I'm okay with fighting that are fire. At, like, at this ranking or whatever, you know, C3, C2, whatever, I'm usually okay with fighting Chloe's, Perna's, they're usually really squishy. Juno's are pretty squishy. Um, Kumar's I will probably avoid like the plague just because I don't think I can do that. Rakan is also one of those that was kind of emerging that I pretty much avoid like the plague. I think one thing that I was failing to even consider is how the other team is composed. Is it a stall team? Is it a tank team? Like that team right there, they had a lot of squishy monsters, Chloe, Theo. So when I, like I said before, my thought process was just, if they don't have a speed leader, double Lucian them. If they do have a speed leader, but no speed buffer or Chloe, double Lucian them. Um, but I've gotten much smarter since then. So, uh, let me backtrack a little bit and figure out where I was explaining things. Uh, back to my list, so. What else was there on the list? And then fire monsters, and I think that was about it. I probably have it written down. So that was kind of the second big step in my thought process to start to realize what my Lucians were losing to. Okay, what the hell? Where is it? I don't know where the list... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, not enough damage, no crits, or move in between? I don't know what that means. Um, so... 
So I kind of realized all that stuff and I was wondering what I should do to fix that. Of course, for the Nemesis thing, either make your illusions faster and that's pretty much it or something. I was aware that there are two ways. Here I'm doing my wish to try to get the wings. Sometimes it happens. I think the wings have a high chance to drop. So um, I was hearing a lot on Reddit. I'm going to name drop some people. X too lazy to die. I'm linking it down below. He's a redditor that I pretty much stalk. He was talking about people nerfing their first Lu Lucian's damage, but making the second Lucian do a ton. So I was like, uh, maybe I need to do that. Uh, maybe I need to like work on their damage or something so I don't trigger the nemesis. But of course, being faster is important because of your attack bar, I think that's more important than, uh, you know, modifying your damage. Also, Shredded Puzzle, another YouTuber, I've looked at a couple of his Double Lucian um, AO videos. He's, I think he's finished G3 a couple times. Some of his rush hours, he might have finished G2. Um, I kind of, I watched like a couple minutes of them, and one of the biggest things I learned from one of his recent Devolution videos, where he was kind of like summarizing his thought process of using them, was he was talking about how he would avoid nemesis healers, and I was like, oh shit, okay, I get it. This was like a big realization. I was like, not everyone has a nemesis healer. As far as I know, the only nemesis healers that are out there are Praha, Ariel, and that might be it. Like, people might build some other things on Nemesis, because Shredded Puzzle mentioned the Dark Mermaid, but I haven't seen that, so I did attack some Dark Mermaids here. But you'll see me avoiding some Nemesis healers. Like, not many people have those, right? I'm sure if you get higher up, you see them. Um, he Okay, he said, like, a really important quote. He was like, this is a team that I feed off of. And I think he said, there's no Nemesis healer and something. I don't know what else there was, but he said that. So that kind of clicked with me. I was like, oh, shit, he's probably right. Nemesis keeps fucking me in the ass. And it keeps moving before my second Lucian moves and I can't do enough damage. So, um... That's pretty much the main thing that I kind of started to avoid, and the thing that really helped me. Um, but he does deal with a nemesis sometimes. I don't really know how he does it or how it works out with him. I think he- I've seen him single card nemesis monsters, so like his first Lucian will single card it, and then he will use his second Lucian to kill everything. I think if you do that method though, the team cannot be a tank team, it cannot be a stall team. Because if the teams like Praha, Ritesh, something, something, two other tanky things like Praha, I don't even know, Praha, Ritesh, Velajul, I don't know. If you single card the Praha, you might be able to kill her, but you're not going to kill the other things and they might be able to kill your Lucians or CC them or do something bad to them. So I think you have to be really aware of what the team comp is. And it's also given me clues to help me build my defense better. I guess, I mean, not my defense in particular, but I kind of noticed like some well-built defenses speed leads. So like I was noticing um, shout outs uh, to one of my guild members above us. He told me about this uh, speed, the speed leader strategy. I don't know if I gave him a shout out earlier, but uh, this rush hour, I used my Tyran and maybe Shimate, the wind self to single Lucian people. That was working out pretty well. He told me about that. Um, and then Shredded Puzzle was also working on some new things recently with Triple Damage Dealer. I know Triple Lucian is a thing, like Megan Triple Lucian, and um, my guild member above us also mentioned that uh, a couple days ago to me, like before the uh, before I saw Shredded Puzzle using that stuff. Um, like just Triple Damage Dealers, that usually works against full stall teams. So, um, there's a lot more to it though, it's not really just that. And there's tons of more comps, it doesn't just stop at Lucian's, like, tons of more comps. So, um, forgot what I was talking about, I'm losing track, I'm sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to be here, but I just, I talk and then I forget. Um, okay, yeah, so I was just talking about overall team awareness, I think, you have to know how the other team is composed, really, you know, are you facing... A bunch of tanks like what's going on how do you deal with it okay now let's talk about free run removal so 
I gave my Lucian to my best runes. It was oh, nine days ago or something like that. So I gave my Lucian to my best runes and I did a lot of thinking about how I wanted to rune them um, because I've seen G3 Lucians, tons of people use Lucians, so I've seen a lot of Lucians out there. Um, and I needed to figure that out. So I looked into the speed tuning guide thing. I will link it down below for you. And I did all the math. I will also link you guys the math that I did down below to uh, see so you guys can see how I speed tune my Lucians. They currently do move with my team. So if Bernard moves, everything will move unless I proc someone's nemesis or something like that. But if Bernard moves, I won't get interrupted aside from nemesis, right? Um, so I have that formula all figured out and what I decided to do, like, I think my Lucians ended up kind of in, like, a perfect spot, I guess. Um, maybe they're just kind of better for my level, but I think they ended up in the in a perfect spot where, like I said, they can all move together and they do enough damage as much as I need them to. I was thinking... Um, I've seen G3 Lucians, they have a lot of speed on them, so my original goal, I think, last free rune removal, not the one nine days ago, but the month before that, no, maybe it was, no, I did rerune them, okay, I don't remember what happened, but one of my goals was just to get them way faster, like, plus 80 speed for both of them, and then whatever damage they did, they did, and I kind of figured that that wasn't working out and I didn't understand speed at all. So I thought I'd go back and kind of figure that out. And <laughs> I am i don't really have like the reasoning for it, but I think they're in the right spot where they need to be with kind of that fine balance of speed and damage. They would have lost too much because I was looking at them and the slower one lost like 200 or 300, I think it was like 300, maybe it was like 295 damage per card if I made him faster, and that was just kind of unacceptable because if we rewind a little bit, I was talking about how sometimes they just lose to like tank teams, like Vero, Ratesh, Tank Tank or whatever, like Wind Monkey, King Chasoon or something weird like that. So I reverted them back. I was able, the speed kind of just so happened to end up where they move with the team, which is really nice. I don't have to worry about any Chloe's or anything cutting in. And I think their damage is in the place where it needs to be right now. So that all ended up uh, being pretty good. I do, I can look at my guild members Lucians to get a better idea of where I need to be if I want to get G1 steadily, because they are not there. I do think the G1 thing is a little bit premature for them. I think they need some grindstones and then they'll be there. I'm pretty sure all they need is grinds. They might still be missing some speed, but um, I think if I grind them pretty well, like I get a lot of grinds on them, they'll be in a pretty good place. So um, I think I figured the speed thing out. I kind of covered up that little hole where someone might be able to interrupt, you know, that hole is gone and they still do pretty much the same damage as they would do if I made them slower because two months ago they were, I think, 10 or 20 speed slower. I'll have their runes in the description um, so you guys can check those out. I have been getting grinds and I have been grinding them and I, uh, I think... I don't, or I think their damage is pretty much the same, but they're faster, so I've been pretty much avoiding Nemesis monsters, and that was the thing that I did this time around. There's plenty more for me to learn. I kind of mentioned some things like um, overall team comp awareness, and there might be some things I can do to deal with Nemesis monsters, like Shredded Puzzle single cards them. Maybe I can do that. I don't know. Um, and then practice, of course. I think I do need to be kind of getting up higher to get practice there to see how things go when I get up there. Don't tell me I lose this. I think I win this, actually, but it's really close. So, um, I think that's pretty much all I had to cover for the Lucians. 
pretty much just avoid fire monsters, avoid nemesis, possible nemesis monsters, and avoid speed leaders. And then you're good. And towards the end, I might kind of go against those rules and I might avoid more things that I didn't mention just because I want to be extra safe. And I think that's it. So once again, for nemesis monsters, Chasun is not a nemesis monster, so I'll eat her booty. Not really, but I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll face a Chasun any day. And also, I guess, for future plans, I have been aware for a long time that Cleave teams, also known, well, not really also known, but uh, Will Shield teams are also very popular, which can deal with these teams really well. I've been, as always, I've been trying to look around to see what other people are using for Rush. Oh, one of my viewers actually um, asked me for some advice on his AO. He was using Sierra, Tiana, one of the bombers, and then Megan or Galleon. So I learned a little bit about that too. That's always nice when people tell me about things and then I go research it. So what the hell am I doing here? Oh my god, let me watch this one. I do remember what happened here. I lost and I didn't kill the water panda. That fucking water panda. I hate that skill where he just like takes away 75% of your HP. Did I really not crit him? That makes no sense though. Let's see. Um, I think I glanced there. Whoa, that HP. He does have an HP leader. It's just like a solid HP lead. So he derps. Uh, let's see. Please win this. I don't think I do, though. Oh, god, yeah. I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have single-carded, maybe? I don't know. I probably would have died shortly after, though. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure there are some mistakes here. I'm pretty sure I should have single-carded. Um, so I just need to kind of clean those up a little bit and continue to work on them. I think I'm going to keep my Lucians the same for now. I, there's really nothing I can do to them besides grind them and get better at using them and pick better fights. Um, my guild member was telling me about possibly setting a stall defense towards the last 10 minutes, like arena defense, because my current defense is kind of stally. It is... I've been telling you guys about this for a while. Uh, Vero, Ritesh, Vela, Jewel, <laughs> Freya. So I do think the stall defense is more reliable for the last 10 minutes, but I don't have skill ups. Oh, I should have fought that. Yeah. Um, it's just really everything on that team is really squishy besides a Lage Reel. So I don't have skill ups for Rena. Um, I don't have a second Rena. I don't know what I'd do, but that's something that I could do in the future because my defense kind of relies on my monsters using proper skills like Vela Jewel, using immunity, Vero stomping, Freya dying. I'm pretty sure my Freya's health is in a good place to where she should die to a single Lucian if someone tries to double Lucian me. Um, I'm pretty sure people kind of caught on to that though. I don't know if people still fall for that Freya bait. But, um, yeah, I think I do rely on some skills, whereas if I use some Renas or something like that, they don't really, you don't really need to rely on them too much to use proper skills because they'll just win for you. Or not win, but, you know, stall out. He was saying that people don't like attacking that because it takes a little while, so I was like, hey, that makes sense. And I'm even noticing in my own matches that sometimes those matches do take a little bit of time, the last one that I didn't quite finish was one of those, but I'm okay with fighting those for the most part. So maybe I shouldn't have done that in the last minute and maybe I should have found something else. I don't know. So I'm debuffing the Perna right there because the Theo was already dead, I'm sure you guys can tell. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some live commentary, I guess. I'm rank... 1,200. Oh, yeah. Maybe it would have been better if I got a little bit higher ranked earlier. I don't know, though, because I pretty much just went straight up to uh, G1. And wait. Oh, yeah. This was the Nemesis Orion that I lost to. That's fucking crazy, to be honest. Really? 
That kind of makes sense, though, because you have the Chloe, too. Oh, wait, no, I didn't lose because <laughs> I got to move. Oh, wait, do I? Oh, wait, do I? Oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, he stuns me right here, right? He stuns me. Yeah, I. if he didn't stun me right there, maybe I had a chance. That was unfortunate. That Nemesis Orion, are you kidding me? That's crazy. But yeah, I just lose, so. Too many crits. Perna's bound to crit. If it's just you and Perna, my Megan doesn't do any damage. I'm avoiding Rakan, I'm avoiding Ariel there. This one looks doable. I don't really understand what the Bernard's doing on this team. Kind of makes not much sense. Oh shit, I get super lucky here. The fire dude does not do his AoE. Oh, I'm losing more than I thought I did. Uh, the fire dude usually AoEs, so they just outsped me. So how many have I lost so far? Two that I've seen, and one at the beginning, so maybe more than I thought. And I decided just to refill, as long as I didn't do too many. Hey, why didn't I kill that one? I should have fought that one. This one's okay because no nemesis healer. I'm cool with that. And Will, I have Megan on Will specifically for Leos. And she doesn't need to be that fast to move with the team, so it's really not hard to get her fast. Am I not critting these dudes? Do they just have like 60,000 HP? What's going on with this? What is going on with this? Kill order is really important when you have these monsters that can kind of stall you a little bit. Like Pernas, like these two, like if you have Juno or whatever. Um, I pretty much always save the arena for last because you need to really focus on her. So even if there's a Chloe and Rena, and those are the only two that are left, I'll go for the Chloe first. Chloe's are usually pretty squishy and I can get crits on them and kill them kind of quickly. But the Renas, they just stall too much, so you don't want to be wasting that much time on them. Oh god, that this was super close. If I got the crit there with Bernard, I would have lost that. There were also some matches where the enemy outsped me, but it didn't use the proper skill, so I won that one. It's quite strange seeing people who have faster monsters than me. Right here, though, I am using a slower speed lead, but he wasn't faster. So here's another really squishy team that I can just single Lucian. And it has full will. That was something that I was trying well, I wasn't paying attention to it and I wasn't paying attention to it until now. Uh one of the pros to using double Lucian is that they ignore will runes. I think will runes really start appearing in high C2, like minimum, like that's where you're really gonna see them and they start being becoming more consistent. Then anything below there, it's really like hit or miss. Like for the most part, I don't see Will lower than that. And I wanted to start seeing Will because that's a huge reason why Lucians are good and why I'm not using Lagmaron or anything like that. And another huge reason why uh, will shield cleave teams are good. This team's kind of strange. I'm pretty sure my Bernard should be able to outspeed it because there's no speed buffer or anything like that. Everything's really squishy, so even if I don't get crits, I should kill a lot of things. I'm a little bit worried about the Water Fairy King coming back to life and stunning my Lucian. I do need to get my second Lucian on Will, but I haven't farmed Necro enough to have good Will runes to do that. So, I can't put him on Will yet, but that's a small thing. I don't think I lost any matches here because my second Lucian got stunned. I know Veramoses can be on Nemesis, so I could fight Veramoses if they ever become a problem, if I have Will on the second one, or even Water Fairy Kings without speed buffers. That, that'll help, but I think that's one of the smaller issues I have, and the bigger issue is me identifying teams to fight just because I'm kind of stupid. So once again, like I said earlier, Chasun is not a nemesis healer, so I will just fight her 
24-7. And yeah, this team is pretty much food. Let me see how much my Lucians are doing. So 8.1k and 9.3. That's pretty good. I don't know if I uh, counted the 8.1 right. I saw a lot of 8.1s though. I think that's pretty good for my Lucians. What I did was for the slower one, I pretty much took one Lucian. I'm working on skill ups too. One of my Lucians has um, skill ups in his amputation magic and the other one doesn't. So I'm just working on skill ups for amputation magic right now. And then I'm pretty sure I'm going to fully skill them. I don't know how though. Uh, I might try to fuse some skill ups and then use Devilmon for the rest. But I do, I kind of do want to max skill them. I think that'll be good for them. Good for me, I guess help me be more successful with them. So I was just talking about something. I keep forgetting, um, what was it? So skill ups and then I totally forgot. Shoot, it was a good thing. So this one Praha could be on Nemesis, but the team looked so wonky, like who runs that? So I was like, this dude probably doesn't know what he's doing. So I'm just gonna double Lucian it and then as I was watching Shredded Puzzle's videos, let's see, I think she is on Nemesis, single Nemesis, even single Nemesis can interrupt me, that one didn't though, so, um, he was really afraid of double Nemesis monsters, usually he was saying if they have will, they probably have double Nemesis, but, um, I think single Nemesis could interrupt me still, because my Lucians are kind of slow, depending on their speed, so I have to be a little bit careful for that. Oh yeah, so I remembered what I was talking about, their damage. So this is how I ruined my Lucians. I took the one that has skill ups and amputation magic and made him the better one. So I gave him his choice of any runes that I had on any monster in my inventory. And what did I do? I think I... Um... Hmm, what did I do? I don't remember how I figured out his speed. Originally, he was not speed tuned with the team. He was too slow, but since then I have gotten grindstones to make him fast enough to move with the whole team. I think I just looked at increasing his speed by five or 10. So I think I started where he was last time around, two months ago or whatever, which was plus 60 speed. And then I saw how he would look at plus 65, plus 70, and then I was okay with that. But like I told you guys, I'm I what I did was I originally wanted to make both of them plus 80 or greater because Nemesis was a real big problem for me. And I thought, hey, you know, the solution's probably to make them faster. But then I think I used them last week and it went really bad and I started to realize that they weren't doing enough damage. So I went back and looked at how they were ruined. Wait, yeah, last week, like right after free rune removal. So on free rune removal, I made them faster, plus 80 speed each. Then the following day on Sunday, I did rush hour and I was noticing that they weren't doing enough damage. So then I toned their speed down slightly. I did get grindstone, so I don't know what they were. And uh, they started the, like I said, I looked at the damages and the harder hitting one lost like 295 damage per card. And I said to myself, that is way too much, not good. And then I kind of added numbers up in my head, kind of like generally, like how much damage the first one does plus the second one. And for the most part, I've been hearing people throw around numbers like 50,000 HP is pretty much like the maximum any monster has. So as long as mine were kind of in that range, I was okay. Of course, with like HP leaders and shield sets, I might run into some problems, but this rush hour was really successful. Even though I didn't get G1, I was happy with it. Um, like I said, this may have been a really easy week, I don't know, but I was feeling comfortable with them and I, I'm, I think I'm getting a better grasp of how to use them, which is a good thing. Uh, how, many, how much more time do we have? Please be over soon. It's not over soon. I am getting tired. So let's do some more live commentary. This one, once again, no nemesis healer. I'm usually okay with fighting Rena's and Chloe's. They do kind of take me a little bit of time, but 
I usually win them, so I will fight them. These pandas, they keep surviving. Every single one has survived. Every single one. I think I fought three water pandas. I hope this isn't the same dude who I just keep fighting over and over again. I fought three. I think I, think I made a mistake there and I should have just killed the panda right off the bat to be safe. I should be paying more attention to attack bars. Yeah, hopefully this isn't the same dude because that'd be kind of embarrassing. But uh, if it was three separate pandas, they all survived, which tells me my Lucians need a bit of a boost, I think. But I think that'll just come with grindstones. I'm really satisfied with where they are, like really, really satisfied with their speed and everything. And with how this went, that kind of just tells me I think they're good, you know? Okay, let's see. Rank 509. I believe I do one more refill. We can kind of see. I think I'm like speeding up and uh, trying to find matches faster because I don't have that much time left. And I want to make sure that I get Guardian. But of course we know that did not happen. I'm a little bit conflicted with who I should use for a speed leader. Either Shimate or Tyran. Shimate does have that 24%, so I probably should do Shimate just because of the 24% to be safe, extra safe. Hey, wouldn't it be nice if for Christmas I pull a 33% speed leader? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think that's happening. Maybe though, you never know. So, um... I'm pretty sure I'll just stick to all these teams. For the triple damage dealer team, Maybe I could do Megan, Devolution, Lagmaron. I don't really have another good monster for the last slot that I could use that I have built at the moment. Shredded Puzzle was using Julie. I do have a Julie and I did farm Hall of Heroes skill ups for the light P array for her. So I could always do that. I had planned on maybe using Julie for a Will Shield team with a mirror. Uh, wait, what happened there? I just- I didn't see. Shoot. Uh, whoops. Not paying attention. Um, the Will Shield team I think will happen event- Oh yeah, I used the wrong team. Fuck my life. Yeah, I- I was like, shit. You know, there's only a couple minutes left and I do that. Well, at least I'll learn from my mistake. I'll be more vigilant, because this was the first rush hour where I used the- speed leader with a single Lucian, so I, was a, I wasn't I was totally used to it. Maybe this win would have meant that, yeah, <laughs> probably. I think if I won that, I would have gotten G1, but you never know, maybe if I won that, my next refresh would be different, and I would have gotten different people, and maybe I would have lost one there, because my list would have been a little bit harder, I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'm kind of out of things to talk about, so I hope you guys aren't getting bored. Once again, check out my runes down below for my Lucians. I love them. I think they're looking mighty fine. Let's see if I can look at them right now and just admire the beauty. I did today. I put another Devilmon on my second Lucian, and he got a skill up in Amputation Magic, so... He's just missing one. The Diaz and the Praha and the Rakana. I'm not fucking with that shit. This I might have been able to kill, but uh, I don't know. I usually would have fought that. The Darien team, I was just really paranoid for some reason. This team, there was a Praha. Why did I fight this? Uh, maybe because the Water Beast Monk. I was like, this person doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, so she daydreams, but... I'm able to kill things, like, I'm able to do quite a bit of damage to everything, which was really nice. Um, yeah, so I kind of um, came out of that by the skin of my teeth, or whatever the saying is. I think that's the saying. What does that even mean? The biofilm on your teeth? Like, the stuff that the bacteria makes? Do they, like, shit on your teeth and that's what the biofilm is? Probably. You know, eating all the sugars that are in your mouth, and then they gotta do their business too. This conversation got really weird. 
Yeah, so I need one more skill up in Amputation Magic on my second Lucian, the one that moves first, actually, the, the one that does less damage for the cool time turn, whatever that means, cool cooldown reduction. Um, I do have some monsters. I need to do two EXP boosters because um, we have that event going on and I need to make two six stars to get that light and darkness scroll. I think the light and darkness scroll is really worth it, so I need to do that. I only have a couple days. I'm summoning for Orion um, probably like on Friday or something. Maybe like Saturday, I don't know. I need to do TOA before then, so I'll do TOA normal and hard, hopefully pretty quickly. If I auto it, it takes me a bit longer than if I manual it, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's annoying to think about. Um, so if I get Orion, I will make him a six star, but I don't even know what else I want a six star. I was looking at my box and nothing's really looking that tempting. I have the werewolves, the dark werewolf and the light werewolf. So they're kind of looking tempting because I'm pretty sure I'll use them eventually. But I'm the type of person that likes to keep my best runes on the fewest monsters. I think that gets you the furthest. Um, I think that's a reason why I did so well with my Lucians. So I don't want to make them like gross looking, but use them. I know that can happen though. I know if a monster's like kit is so strong, you can put gross runes on them and they will do fine, but I'm not too confident in that. Uh, plus I already have guild wars, guild battle teams that I'm, I like. I have like four main offenses that I use. I, I actually talk about those in my video that's coming out. It should already be out the Childish Challenge Epic Fail Delta Guild War. I talk about those four teams. It's my Ramagos team, my Copper Bulldozer team, my Lagmaron Galleon Bernard team, and a Bruiser team with like Vero, Theo, Ritesh. That's like my favorite one. I have a couple other variations, slight variations with Velajul in there. Um, so, so I don't know what I'm gonna six star. So I need, I'm looking at my Lucian now. He needs two more in su Surprise Box, two more in Flying Cards. I do think I'll max them out. I like them, you know, they proved that they were worthy. I think it makes sense to do that. Especially with the Flying Cards for the Harmful, or the, um, yeah, the Harmful Effect Rate with the Unrecoverable debuff. I use that a lot against, like, Chloe's and Rena's, so I think it'll be worth it to skill them up. I need to farm some Water Golems because that's the only monster that I don't have for the skill up. I don't know how many I can fuse, but when I do that EXP booster, I'm pretty sure I will uh, fuse those skill ups. I need to get on that though. What's today? Monday? So I don't know when the water dungeon is. Probably not for a while. Let's see. Oh, one day. So I guess that, yeah. Hall of Fire is coming up tonight, so that actually means two days. I hate how they do that. It says it says one day, but it means one day plus 24 hours. Also, mentioning the Childish Challenge, you guys should participate if you're watching this, if there's still time left. See, the Unrecoverable debuff, very important. I think it'll definitely be slightly helpful to have that maxed out so I can land it more. I'm just praying here that she doesn't proc. Is this the last one? This is the last one. Um, I don't know if I could have done anything better to win this faster, but I don't win it fast enough, and I think we're done already. I think the time's up. Um, so, maybe I should have tried to seize her there. I don't know. I think the time was already up. So, right here, I was like, my heart was pounding. It really, my heart was pounding for like the last... 10 minutes maybe five minutes yeah probably like last five minutes but i'm over it you know like i said it will happen soon and it will happen many times i will have my fill of g1 in the future so yeah and then uh, this this was heartbreaking this was heartbreaking guys i'm re reliving the terror c3 i was stupefied Wait, is that just a Harry Potter term, or is that, like, a real word? And get it, his name is Stupidoo. Yeah, it sort of makes sense. So, yeah, 
rank 3, 2, 1. That was the end of Rush Hour. Sorry the video was so long. I tried to speed it up, but it just looked really bad. Like, the VLC player was lagging or something when I sped it up. It was, so I don't know what was going on. I'm not rendering a video. I'm not doing anything. It was weird, so... That's it for Rush Hour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to bring you guys more info on the Lucians. I'll get better at them and stuff. But uh, this was the real first video where I felt like I actually made progress in the past six weeks or however long I've had my Lucians. It may have been longer. This was like the first video that I was confident in that I kind of started to know what I was doing with them because like I said before I was pretty clueless I would just double Lucian anything that didn't have a speed leader pretty much which was no bueno so hope you guys enjoyed it uh, feel free to leave me comments feedback whatever I will catch you guys in the next video